Even if you feel you know this old county well, Durham will surprise you. From the River Tyne to the River Tees, and from its rocky coast to its high Pennine moors, wonderful stories about its landscape and its distant past are hiding in plain sight. I'm Ian Jackson. I'm a geologist. I've lived and worked in the north of England for most of my life. To help people discover Durham's landscapes and their mysterious past, I've just written a book about them. But this is not a geology book. It's a book for everybody. It's a picture book with tales about 50 special rocky places that tell us how Durham came to be. If you are curious about Durham's landscape, its heritage of mining and quarrying, and how the rocks have influenced its wildlife, its history and culture, then this book is for you. Full colour photographs and short, straightforward explanations reveal the role that rocks play in our environment and lives, past, present and the future. This book will take to places you may not know and let you into secrets about places you thought you knew. Use it as your inspiration for walks, to explore a diverse and beautiful landscape and understand why it is as it is. Pull on your boots and walk across molten rock that now forms stunning waterfalls. Find out where ancient ocean sediments were made into pencils for Victorian schoolchildren. Discover fossils that lived in warm coral seas and tropical swamps. Wonder at the skills of our ancestors, for whom rocks were shelter, tools and art, and who later worked the coal, lead and limestone to build our communities. Durham owes a lot to its rocks. From the lead, fluorite and zinc veins in the west, to the industries based on the mining of salts in the southeast, and of course the rock that underpinned it all, coal. Rocks are the very basis of Durham's heritage. They are literally the foundation of its flourishing tourist economy and the bedrock of its amazing wildlife. But those same rocks also have things to say about the pollution of our rivers and water supplies the erosion of our coast, and the history and conservation of our overheating planet. I wanted the book to tell that story too. This is a tale about a Durham that has travelled across the world. It's been at the bottom of oceans, it's been a tropical swamp, it's been buried to red hot depths and broken apart by earthquakes. And only 20,000 years ago, it was frozen under a kilometre thick ice sheet. It is our rocks that are the pages of this history book. Turn those pages and you begin to understand why the Durham landscape we see today has such an amazing story. Durham Rocks will be in bookshops this autumn. Its sale is supporting Durham Wildlife Trust. I hope you buy it. Mm -hmm.